welcome to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam. I'm Shoz. There we go. Or Jose. How are you on a <laughs> No, Jose. Um, so, yeah, Shoz has kindly agreed to join me on another uh, Die Rolling episode to um, have a look at another game. Do you know what we're playing tonight? Uh, you did mention something about a Viking uh, escape. Yes, um, it's the game Viking Escape. Uh, no, it's <laughs> I it's can't, uh, I remember the name of things. It's Meshaw or Michelle or you're Celtic. I'd you... say Meshaw, but Michelle. I don't know. Uh, obviously, you've got that wrong. Please leave comments below, and we will uh, we will not correct this, but we will put a, a comment in there to say it's pronounced this way. Um, so yeah, this is uh, currently on Kickstarter. Depending when I actually edit this and get this up, um, but you are playing. A Viking who's trying to escape from a terrible situation. Uh, it's about survival. It's about cooperation and going mad, just okay. just like your relationship, really. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so we'll get this table and see what we think. Fair enough. So we have just set up Misho, and I say we, I mean I. Uh, I just set this up. Seven, seven, four games. Uh, I'm barely playing. <laughs> So we're playing the two-player uh, cooperative version for this, and this is a prototype copy, so this doesn't really represent the final thing that you would get if you back this. Um, depending on when I get this out, this is currently on Kickstarter at the moment, and I think it's around £16 to get this, uh, which, for what you get, is a fairly good price, I think. Um, so there is a little plot here that you kind of need to know, so I have to read all this out. I did ask Chase if she'd do it, but she decided she didn't want to read out. Although she's got a much better thing. I'm going to skip that first bit, though, and just talk about the kind of the immediate so, um, plot. Okay. Too right? many big words, right? There's a lot of big words <laughs> in that first. There's two paragraphs. That's why here. I said I wasn't going to read it. <laughs> so, um, so here we go. Here's a setting. As they stumbled... Oh, first I've got to say this bit because it doesn't make sense. So, Earls Harold and Rag Rognevold had landed in Ragnavald. Orkney. Ragnavald. Ragnavald. Is that it? Earls Harold and Ragnarvald had landed in Orkney less than an hour ago, but the suddenness and ferocity of the snowstorm caught them by surprise. As they stumbled uh, forwards, head bowed against the wind, they were suddenly aware of a house looming before them. They circled the house, looking for a door, but found none. Fearing death from the weather, in desperation they climbed the roof of the house and used their swords to prise apart the stones that roofed the building. Without hesitation, with no room in, my, in their minds for anything but the need for shelter, they dived through the hole they'd made and fell 20 feet to the floor. Groping around the dark interior, they quickly realised that there would be no way out the way they had came. They would survive the storm, but if they weren't to die in this cell, they would have to dig their way out with their hands and swords. Swords? Swords. Oh. So uh, we are two Viking-type chaps. Who have fallen so, down into a big hole, uh, and we're trying to get out, basically. So we're gonna dig our way, dig our way out. out. So our last video was exactly that. Yeah. Um, I promise, next time we play a game, we're not digging anywhere. We'll see. Um, we'll see. I feel like track record isn't really going that <laughs> yeah. way. Um, okay, so you can. This is the board here. You can see our our Harold and Rag Ragnarvald. Vald. Vald. Valdi Valdemore. Uh, so Ragnarvald is down here, as is Harold, and they're trying to dig their way through these four passages. Oh, there's an extra one there. We don't want that. Um, so yeah, so they're trying to dig their way through here. As soon as we've got through all four of these, we escape. And the storm has blown over. Wow. Okay. We've got our individual health trackers here. I'm going to be the guy above it, up here, if that's all right with you. Looming over. Yes, I'm yeah. the one in the blue, so I'm, I'm okay. this one up here. Well, you have enough strength to stand upright, so you're well, doing all right. Exactly. Um, maybe you're just propping me up. Like. And then <laughs> we you're have, just leaning on me. <laughs> <laughs> we have our health track here, which we can, uh, which is a shared, sorry, food track there, which was a shared thing. Mm -hmm. um, so in this game, it's fairly simple. You are going to be playing cards from your hand. You can play a card and discard a card. Whenever you cannot do that, if you get to a point you can't play and discard a card, then it's game over, you lose. Also, if you get down to the very last health and you lose one, you lose. You lose, um, yeah. How do you win? You dig your way dig out. Dig your way out, that's the only way you can win this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so And stay alive while doing it. Exactly. Did you shuffle these? I barely. Should I shuffle them a bit? Yeah, more? I think so. Shuffle them a bit more. So I, Chase I is a very answer. competitive <laughs> person and she's, she's got to the point now, she's like, I want to win this. We played this previously <laughs> and we lost. We did lose. So, um, 
And uh, what I don't want to happen is that Adam hasn't shuffled the cards and we draw up all of our bad hands again. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, or like all of the, the ones that we discarded. Yeah. Yeah, not, not, not ideal. Not be good. Okay, cool. So that's going to go over there. If okay. you would mind uh, giving us five each. Thank um, you. There's also one little rule which um, we weren't familiar with before, which is around co-op. So um, basically, you have the ability... Wait, one rule. Just one rule. <laughs> Where is it? Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Where is it? There's something else in here. God, I thought I'd gone mad before I'd even started. No, it's no, it's not. I'm just talking out of my bum. Okay, cool. There is some, There is a YOL token that they have in the full game, but we don't have it in this, which does have an effect on, on the gameplay. Okay. Um, you're going to go first this time. Am I? Yes. Okay. Face first, and hopefully, if you're leading the way, we'll manage to get out of here. Um, there are some slight things in the rules which we're not 100% on. Uh, for instance, you're supposed to be playing these cards out in a row, and it doesn't say anything about ever removing everything from the row. So I just think you keep playing them out in the row. But we are kind of resetting once we get to four excavations. Yeah, right? just, just so it's easy to kind of see on the table, we're yeah. just putting them out. I think they're, they're placed out so you can just tell what's already been played. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Right, I am going to excavate. Okay, so um, first action is excavating. And then I'm going to discard a goose. Goosey, goosey, gander, goosey, I see. Goose. And, then and then you draw. And draw. Have you gone mad? I haven't. No, I've already gone mad. Amazing. Okay. So it's worth noting in this game, there is a red uh, rune and a blue rune. If your hand only comprises one type of rune, you have to discard your hand, shuffle the discard pile back into the... Um, into the main deck, and then you lose one life permanently. Mm -hmm. Which, um, no, when you I get don't. near the end of this, you might want to actually have that happen, just because you need those discarded cards mm -hmm. back. Uh, cool, so my turn after waffling, I'm also gonna excavate. And... Can we play them like this, because... Sorry. Sure. I know. Is that one? Um, and I am going to discard this. I am going to excavate and then I feel like I've gotten a lot of excavation cards <laughs> and I'm going to discard. And, oh, and, oh, hi. We need every single excavation card. We're not going to get out. Yeah, you need all of them. I'll With change four, my... four walls. It's fine. You've done it. It's placed. Well, you could have said before I placed it. Well, yeah, if you want to get it back, you can. But we only there's only enough of these cards in here. Unless we have four of the same type. Well, don't you put down a, an excavation and then we'll have four of the same type, Adam. You're going to scupper This is where the Yarl token comes in handy because if I had it, I could give it to you and skip my turn. If you then had a blue one, you'd be able to carry on and well, dig your you... way out. <laughs> can you not play an excavation? Have you got all excavation? I have one excavation, then I have four of the cards, but I'm fairly certain. So if I place a card down here, and then you place a blue card, would that work for the excavate? I would presume so, because it only says about the runes being the same for this excavation card, doesn't it? Let's consult. The rule book. So we'll have a look at the rules. We just have one, this is a one little query hand here because in the rules it says excavating passages. Mm -hmm. Whenever you play the fourth excavate passage card in a row to the row, remove one of the passage tokens. Two if all four have the same rune. So I would say that that implies it's just about the four excavation tokens. So as long as you don't put down a red excavation token, then <laughs> we should be okay, right? Okay, well. And if we're playing this wrong, oh, and sorry, I need we'll, to draw. Um, we'll let you know in the mistakes were made, or you can let us know in the mistakes were made as well below. Um, cool, so I'm going to... Not play a red excavation. So I can play anything else? You can play anything else, Adam. I'll allow okay, it. Okay, cool. So we're going to... I'm going to starve in here. which no, means we should still be in a row. Should which we? means we are, uh, we're going to... This is a column. Uh, which means we're... Um... <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> How wrong I am. 
Um, so, so uh, I'm going to uh, discard this card here. Oh, my. I'm about to want to slaughter a goose. Well. Okay, I'm going to excavate. Now, unless we played this incorrectly, this would now mean we'd be able to get rid of two of those walls. Yeah, did you move your health down? Oh, no, you just got rid of a goose. But you just didn't. got rid of a goose. We you can always play cards even if you don't, they don't do anything. Okay. So I double check that in the rules. It actually I believe says you. that in the rules. So. I believe you. Cool. <laughs> Come on now, we all know you Get like to pick and choose your rules. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank Halfway you. there, thanks to me. Oh wait, I need to discard something then as well. You do. Uh, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Nah. Uh, you say we we need some of these excavation, do you? <laughs> okay, right, I'll discard a cave-in token. So I'll lose a health. You lose a health. That's all right. And then I draw it back up. Oh, man, I feel like we didn't shuffle these. Well, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm excavating. Mm -hmm. um, getting Sorry, that should be one separate section. Right? So I'm going to get rid of the treasures. So I also lose a health. And then I'm hoping these aren't all blue. They're not all blue. Good. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to have to do a blue excavation, which I know we what? don't want. I know, I know. But what? the problem is, I have to get rid of this goose or else I'll lose more health. Or else I have to get rid of some excavation. And we already established that that wasn't the best idea. But so, I might be able to heal you. Do you have any cards that can heal I've got me? I've got a couple of cards. Can you choose who heals? I believe you... so. Well... <laughs> 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 Let, let's just do what we think the rules should do. Sure. <laughs> oh man. Wow. I don't know. Okay. Just play your just play the excavate. And we'll just we, we'll well, fine. What, what we still would you like quite, me to do? We, we've still got quite a few cards to get through, so excavate. Just do a bit of excavate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that last time and then yeah. all of a sudden there was only one left. We got plenty. We just need four cards to get out. We need eight, eight excavation cards to get out, basically, at this point. Play it. Do you not have a red one? I do have a red one. Play the red one. But then you... I need to lose a health, because otherwise my risk of going mad is quite high. You could use a red one, and then discard a blue one. But then I'll do discard either lose a health or lose an excavation card. You see my troubles? Just lose another health, right? <laughs> I can. Doesn't bother me. Right, okay. Um So I have two red excavation cards. So if I'm able to play these, we've got out. Nice. Okay, well I'm gonna lose a health then. You've discarded the treasure. Just discard a blue. Well what do we need these excavation tokens? We're not on? going to. I have two reds. Yeah? If okay. I can place these two reds down, okay. we've got out. Okay, that's fine. It's game over. Game over. Right, Har okay. Harden, Harden, I'll lose Ring that. Ringvold would have got out. <laughs> Ooh, never mind then. Oh, what am I playing? Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna play, play this. <laughs> Every day is an exciting. And get rid of that. So I'm going to play a raven. Mm -hmm. Can I heal both of us? So, I mean, I'd say yes. But, no. Um, no, sorry. I was distracted by the back of the rules there. Um, so <laughs> you weren't even running. When played, when played to the row, you gain two health. It, just says, it says gain two health. It doesn't say who Okay, gets it. I'm going to say then... We're going to share the raven. We can share the raven. Okay, in that case... Booba! Booba! And I'll get rid of... And you've gone mad. The other raven. No, not yet. You haven't. Well, then that's... We've done it. 
Moon Show. So uh, we played that twice. We figured out what we were meant to be doing this time. It's good. I mean, we knew what we were doing. Yes. But not how to there do it. There are some rule questions. Yeah. I'm not 100% certain no. if we are playing this 100% correctly. I feel like we're playing it more correctly than the first time around. Yes, agreed. Yeah. When it suits us. <laughs> 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 that was definitely a lot easier, and given that the, this is the easy mode... This was medium for no, th two players. No, you said four is easy for two players, and the medium for one player. I read this in the in the very real book right there. <laughs> You're right, it is easy. <laughs> I'm right, That's I right. told you. So that, and that did feel easy, right? Like, and we would have, yeah. we would have like, had a few <laughs> more cards coming time. out. No, it was hard last time. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there wasn't, there weren't that many more excavate. We probably could have done that. Yeah. Like, um, I think uh, playing that again, you definitely want to play medium. Yeah. From the from the offset on this, really, just because you want a bit of a challenge. Mm. Anyway, we're going to um, close this up, get this to the uh, city where we can discuss cool. our thoughts on this. Mm. So uh, we have just played Michelle. Uh, or, like... or dig your way out too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so shows. So this <laughs> the is the a... other version. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first Im first impression video. It's not a review. Uh, this is basically us stumbling our way through rules. Yeah. Um, and this is a prototype copy. I mentioned that during the video. But just once again, this is a prototype, so it isn't a hundred percent reflective on what you would be getting if you did bounce on Kickstarter. Um, you've got a cup of tea there, and I'm I'm going to join you with this because it's. There we go. If that's triggered you, I apologise, but um, deal with it. So, um, what did you think of, let's go through components, yeah? We'll, okay. we'll do a first impression of the thing, yeah, so yeah. components, gameplay, that kind of thing. So, what do you think about component-wise? So, my very first impression when you took this out of the box was <laughs> that the cards are really dark, and I couldn't really make that them out very well initially. And then as we started playing the game, I realized that was really good from a theme point of view. Like yeah. it really, it really fitted really nicely because you're in this like dark cave essentially. And of course, you're, basically... you're going to be straining your eyesight to see what you yeah. can do. So actually it was fitting really nice. Can we show some like cards? Yeah, of course. You're basically in a tomb, aren't you really? It's yeah, like, it's essentially. A, it's a, it's apparently a home, but, um, but there you go. You can show a few to the camera. I'll allow it. It's the, it was this one that really got me, the uh, excavation card. And the nice and, thing is we got that light, which is coming yeah, out from here. Yeah, it is here. actually coming out. Um, but when, yeah, we're in the other room and trying to play it, it took me a little while for my eyes to adjust to, to it. To figure out what it is. Yeah. And I guess that, like you said, it's quite thematic, isn't it? Yeah. Because like, it is, like you are looking at the cards going, what is that? What, mm. what What's happening there? Yeah. What else you got there? You got some others? Uh, we've got a raven, which gives you some help. Um, we've got... Can show you can one? show that. <laughs> a trigger warning if you uh, don't like cruelty to animals. Yeah. Um. So one of the one of the cards is a goose, which I don't seem to have this in the selection that I got. Um. And then you get the goose, and then Here you can is. also. So Here's your goose, your best friend. You got some food. It's flown in the hole in the ceiling. Yeah. You've and made. then you have to <laughs> kill it. <laughs> then you uh, decapitate it. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So actually, it's there. It's actually really nice artwork it, it like i say initially kind of threw me a little bit but it's really nice when you get used to it and i guess it fits a the theme as well because yeah. it's very like dark and desperate kind of theme you're these two guys who are trapped by yeah. their own design really in this in this impossible situation well, not necessarily they have to find, have shelter, to find from shelter, that shelter so yeah um and then the other thing that i i did really like is um, th there are a couple of different runes, so you can see there's red and blue. And uh, initially, I was a little bit worried that there would be lots of different types and we have to match them up, but it's actually just the two colours, so it's not too complicated. Yeah, so would that's that work, nice already. Would that work for colourblind people? Just a quick question thrown out there. Uh, I think it depends on what kind of colourblind they are. If it's red green, then yeah, because it would. The red would turn up as grey or something. But would the, the blue, blue look like blue? Well, if they're red, green, colour blind, then yeah. Blue so blue and grey, but you As still... far as I know, I'm very sorry if However, I'm representing they... colour blind. <laughs> but I, I don't know enough about this. I don't know why you're asking me. But, but, but you know, <laughs> yeah, okay. But okay. the uh, the thing is, even if you are colour blind, <laughs> um, then it's fine because the runes are different shapes. So there is that, right? <laughs> had to ask the question because it popped into my head, so I had to say it. Um, so component-wise as well, we also have the board. 
Uh, once again, this is um, the actual one's double sided, so think, you have like two be... two health tracks on that one yeah, for the two good. player. I, th I think there were a couple of things in this that, that made it quite obvious that this was a prototype, and there were some things that you wouldn't expect to be in the um, in the actual game. There was um, in terms of like if you look at the board as well, you can see the two little people trying to escape. Howard and Ringwald. <laughs> sure, those aren't the names. <laughs> Um, but well, I guess I wasn't that keen on, but I, I think it depends on the player mode as well, is that there were quite a lot of, how many, seven, seven little boulders to remove, but we were only playing with four. I don't like having like extra things that I'm not no? using. No, not okay. really. But again, that was just, I think probably the, the mode that we were playing on. Okay. So, yeah. Fair enough. Anyway, um, what did so you think of it? I think component-wise, um, it's really nice. I, you pretty much covered everything I'm saying. Um, one thing I you, you mentioned, oh, I'll go home. <laughs> you carry on. Um, so one thing I'd say we were discussing artwork within that, and um, the the iconography on the cards is pretty good mm -hmm. uh, because it tells you everything you need to know from the cards. Yeah. Whenever I play a new card game, um, like you were a little concerned there'd be lots of different runes to remember. Yeah. I'm always a bit concerned about iconography and if it makes sense and stuff. But the rule book was quite clear on on that thing. It was very much like, oh, the, this is what each of these cards does. Um, and there is some additional kind of expansion stuff in there, which we, we didn't play with because this is like our second attempt at this game, really. Yeah, um, and it's it be well too confusing. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so component-wise, I thought it was really good. The I think the main kind of image, which you get in the back of the cards, mm -hmm. is perfect because it really does just kind of like sum up your situation 20 foot up is this the only way out you've yeah. got to just dig your way out of this dig your way out of this uh this horrible situation so yeah i thought that was i thought it was interesting so gameplay what were your thoughts on gameplay well it depends on, on whether we were playing it right or wrongly <laughs> um so i'm gonna think so i, I think generally I enjoy this so in, in your turn you could uh play one discard one and then you have to draw uh to your full full hand i think um i think the fact that we were able to communicate was quite good i think it would have been quite difficult otherwise we were playing on the easy mode and the second time around that we were playing it it was it did feel easy first time around i know we didn't play it completely right but i feel like it was it was quite difficult so yeah i think it just it depends a little bit on your draw. What do you think? So I quite enjoy the gameplay for this because it's I've not played a game like this before. Mm -hmm. It was quite easy to pick up in the yeah. sense that there were some rules in like if you watch the gameplay of this, you will see us questioning some of the rules in this. Um, but there were some rules we we still had some queries on. But generally, it's quite easy. Mm -hmm. You either like you say you play your uh, play and discard a card in whichever order those you want to do that in. Yeah. Um, I think that was useful to know for the definitely like because we didn't realize that the first time around, but second time, even though I don't think we actually used it, we didn't on that playthrough. No. But on the when we do our initial playthrough for this, um, there was some times where I had to play, I had to discard a card that was going to hurt us, yeah, and I played a card that would have healed us, yeah, but there was no point playing the heal card first because we didn't have any yeah. damage, but. If make you're if in you, reverse order that would have made sense fine, which um, you can do yeah. yeah which i quite enjoyed the mm -hmm. um the whole hand management in it as well yeah, because it's quite flexible, because of those runes we mentioned earlier yeah. you had the fact that if you had all of the same type in your hand you went mad mm -hmm. um which made that i found that quite interesting because you wanted to play certain cards down that match the excavation cards mm -hmm. of that particular rune but at the same time if you had a full hand of red cards and there's a chance you're gonna get two more red cards in there you were like, oh, do I do this? There was, so there's yeah. some interesting de yeah. decisions to be made in that, which for a kind of card game, I think that's that's quite good to have those mm -hmm. strategic decisions. Um, and with, with co-op games, they always have to be a little harder than just like a competitive game. You have to have that difficulty in there. Yeah. Otherwise, you kind of walk away and you're like, it's one and done. You're, you're kind of finished. And okay. You're not going to come back to that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought it was the game playing was, was quite unique. I've not played something quite like that. Yeah, I I have to say I enjoyed it. Like there, were, like I say, there were a few things, and there were a few things that we questioned in the rules. But overall, it was uh, it's quite good. Okay, so um, because like I say, this isn't tough. You got something? To say? No, I, I was just gonna say as well. Like all the actions that you could do it was all really fitting with like what was going on. So there wasn't there wasn't anything like. 
completely out of the blue you know you're, you're finding that the food source you're finding it was just like essentially a, a goose has wandered in and you're running to say yeah something that, about that fall of, down like, the hole and was, yeah and there wasn't anything and like there you could rest to recover one health there was also like treasure to distract you a little bit um so you could distract it and then obviously they're going mad um yeah yeah uh, option i think that was quite good and that was also um i'm not sure if it happened when we played it for the second time but the first time around we were kind of using that to our advantage a little bit the option to go mad when we didn't have the right cards yeah like it, it kind of it, it did help us out in the way because then the next time you you like reshuffled all the cards back in and then it kind of you needed to do options. that didn't yeah, you exactly. yeah exactly so yeah Okay, so like like I said, this isn't a review. This is a first impressions video for this. Um, so like overall, what I think the main thing I'll go first. The main thing I enjoyed from this game yeah. was the theme. Like like you were just saying how like everything kind of felt like yeah. thematic to what you were doing. Yeah. And sometimes when you're playing games, there might be gameplay mechanics which are in there to make the game work, but it doesn't marry up with the theme. Whereas this, like you say, everything that was happening, like yeah. the food source, the ravens, things like that, all felt very invocative of that that theme. So, and for me, theme is if you look at the games behind me, theme is like the main thing I go for when I'm when I'm looking for a game. So, um, so that for me was something which was was really good. Mm -hmm. um, something else which was a positive for this game, it does have game variants in there. So there was we you mentioned how like we could communicate, which was pretty yeah. good. But there's a two player co op mode in there where the communication is minimal. So uh, it kind of adds to difficulty. And when you've got a game which isn't, it's not a huge game. This is something you're playing. If you, I'd say you could probably play this in like 15 minutes if you were mm -hmm. like play this a few times. Um, if you weren't playing with me, who's like stalling every <laughs> time I need to make no, a decision. No, 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 it's, it's, it's perfectly, it's good though, because you could have people playing this with like analysis paralysis. Yeah. You really want to weigh up every single thing. And that could draw this out to like 30 minutes yeah. to, to 40 minutes or something. But sorry, e even with that, like there's only so many options, which is probably one of my main positives is that you've got a limited uh, like amount of cards to choose from. So you kind of you learn pretty quickly what each one of them does. You don't have to like learn each card as it comes out and you don't have, you're not reading cards forever to try and decide what and weigh yeah. up the pros and cons of using or discarding. So. Yeah, I really enjoyed that actually. Yeah. What yeah. are the highlights for the game? Have you got? I just said. Just that. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, like you already said, I think everything just fits really nicely. Um, yeah, and it was simple. It was pretty straightforward. So we played this, and we kind of knew that we didn't play it especially correctly. And but I was quite keen to play it again to see how it felt like playing properly. it properly. Yeah, but that's. Yeah, but it, the fact that I wanted to go back straight away and play it again, like, I think that was a pretty good sign, so. Yeah. Yeah. So this is definitely one, if I saw in a, a board game cafe, I'd definitely play yeah. this with somebody. But like, if we were there, it'd be like, let's just play this. I'm waiting for some people to come along. Yeah. Play this. And also, this is quite a good game to play during lockdown, because, like, there's a quite a few, like, two-player games out there, like uh, Fugitive, for instance. You know, the one where you're trying to catch, catch you the person with the cards? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, so like yeah. these two player games, um, I find are quite good for this mm. kind of situation we're currently in. And who knows what the world's going to look like in <laughs> you know the next few few months or years or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is this is definitely something which I don't have anything else like this in my collection. Um, and yeah, I I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was good. It, it's very quick and very easy to pick up. Those are kind of... Yeah. If you are looking games, for, yeah. like, a very strategic game or very deep game, um, it's then really... it's it's not going to take that box for yeah. you. It does have a lot of replayability in there. Um, you, you'd mentioned how there was extra passage tokens yeah. in there. So in the game itself, they give you, I think, six is the most they say you should have. But they also have, like, an advanced mode. They're like, oh, yeah, put all of them in and good luck. Yeah. <laughs> See if you can get out. I know, but I don't know anyone who would... Well, I'm sure there are people out there. Some who people want to that do that, that. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. hardcore mode. Everyone loves And to also, I suppose you could get like really strategic with it as well. And because like the second time around when we were playing it, it was, um, yeah, we were talking a lot more about like matching up the runes and making sure that we were able to do that. And then, yeah. like, if we knew that we had a certain, this, the right kind of cards, then we could, could kind of 
forfeit a lot of the other excavation cards. And, yeah. Yeah. So the the only other negative I'd really say with this game is the fact that the rule book and like I say, it is a prototype. Yeah. Um, there were just some questions which were still left open for us. Mm. Um, but hopefully that'll be clarified when they... Sorry. But it also just meant that we could play by the rules that we, we thought fitted the best. <laughs> Okay. That's true. That's true. Um, I'm it sure. Worked out all right for us. Yeah, I'm sure the creator will watch this and be like, oh "My God, what are you doing? <laughs> no, they butchered my game. What, what were they doing?" Um, but yeah. So uh, if you are the creator of this game, please leave comments below to let us know what we did wrong, so other people watching this video can go, "Oh, right. Yeah. That's what they should have done." Um, but yeah, overall, this for me, this is definitely. I would play this again. It's definitely a play. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Is this a buy, play, or avoid for you? I'd play it. Yeah. Play it, yeah. Is it not avoiding for you? No, no, there wasn't anything in it that I didn't like, really. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd buy it, but just because I don't really buy board games, because with this one, I don't really need to. I think, um, so from my perspective, <laughs> someone who does purchase board games, um, <laughs> Like I, I said earlier in this, I think it's around um sixteen pounds for uh, for uh, like the UK kind of uh the pledge level, which for this I think you're getting your value for money there really. Like this is easily gonna go for like twenty five pounds in the shops and stuff. So uh I mean when you get PMP and VAT and stuff on there, I'm sure they're gonna go up. But uh but yeah, I'd say for the VAT the the price they've got for this, this is and if you like Vikings, you're looking for a thematic two player game. Can I say, however... Interjection! Yeah, I didn't... It didn't feel very Viking-esque for me. Yeah, I guess that. But I think I think from... Um, what I mean by Viking-esque is that this is this is clearly art based on some Orkneyan legend. Yeah. Um, so if you were, like, interested in the story that is behind all of this, if you're familiar with that story, mm -hmm. that might be something that would kind of tick that box for yeah. you. Yeah. But um, you're right. It isn't. It, it isn't the most Viking thing. But the set, the theme for it, I mean, is quite. If you're looking for like a dark, cooperative game, yeah. survival game, I, I'm not sure I could mention another game out there that is like this, in in a positive way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shall we list all the negative ones? <laughs> no. But yeah, I I just I didn't think it was a Viking esque game but it was uh it was good for what it was like the, the it story. was good for what it was no <laughs> you know what i mean yeah so um that's it for us for the moment so we're both we both play this game again we we both enjoyed it and from someone who who buys board games um i think the price level for for what you get from this is is pretty fair um so i've been adam and this has been um, and um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our various social medias. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Eh? Um, until next time, guys, stay safe and keep rolling.